just me and my guitar Hey what's happening guys, Mark back here from Mark's Aquatics Sunday build, hopefully I'll get this video out for you tonight It's a very quick, easy one Ah, uh, gotta have the old coffee Right, we're gonna make a little aquarium steriliser today Very easy to make they're quite expensive actually when you look at them on uh, on eBay and places like that. Quite expensive to buy. Little twin stars, I think they're called. But these things are really easy to reverse engineer and um, quite simple to create. Got to do things different. A lot of people do them with PVC pipe. I actually went to the my local cheapy shop <laughs> just before. This is what gave me the idea, and I saw this little um, little key ring, and it was about it was all it was. I think it was about 85p. It was, but it comes apart and I thought well that's just perfect for what I want with that so while I was there I bought I bought a sieve that was about that was about a pound as well and I got a battery charger for an old mobile phone that's all you're gonna need for this build guys right then so what we've got to do first we've got to cut it out I've, I've sped things up a little bit for you here I've just marked out I've marked out some I don't know if you can see it there some circles on there so we can cut this mesh out but I've got to do it towards the light because where I've marked it it's quite difficult to see so bear with me a second and I'll cut these out okay guys we've done that now we've got two two discs okay one to go in one side and one to go in the other side there Okay, now we've got to press these in. First of all though, before we do anything else, now it's really important that when these go together, they don't touch inside, all right? They can't touch. Otherwise that will completely ruin what we're trying to do. I'm not 100% sure if this paint is going to act as a conductor as well, being, being chrome paint, but we'll see. We will see as we go along. This is all in the interests of science. <laughs> right, we'll get that. Now what we've got to do, we've got our two ends of our old charger there, which I've stripped back, okay? And now what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to solder our little wires on one, on one there and one on there, like that, okay? So the plan is to find something now that it's not going to melt. Okay guys, that was lucky. I had a hole there which I drilled a piece of glass. Sorry, I, I drilled a hole through the glass there some time ago for something else I was doing. And it's just made a perfect little hand free stand for the uh, for the solder to go on. Because I'm going to need both hands to do this. I'm going to need three hands to be honest. So what we're going to do first, we screw this right up tight and get that as tight and as small as we can and then we want to poke that through there and just twist that up then we get our solder And we put that underneath, watching that anything doesn't drip onto you. Right, then we got that, sorry about that, a bit out of frame there. Now we've got that now, have a little tiny blob of solder on there. And now we do is we do the other piece. We screw him up too. You can do this with um, with hot glue as well. Oh, we've got both of those discs on there like that. Now that's how it works. It works together. So when you've got them together like that and they're just apart, okay, and they don't they're not touching. But when you put the current through it, it creates electrolysis, which is basically the composition of water. 
So, so what it'll do, one of the discs will be producing oxygen and one of the discs will be producing hydrogen. And that's how they work when you've got them together like that. But they mustn't touch, okay? That's what we're looking for. So we can move that out of the way now. Good on your bit of glass, that was handy. But with these, they've got like a little central piece with a little spike on it. So we're going to have to find out exactly where that is in the middle there. Just give that a little push. And then get something. And um, we can just make a little hole. And because it's because it's mesh, it's just going to, um, yeah, my soldering gun will probably do that. If I don't burn my fingers in the process. That's not going to get through there wide enough. I'm just going to have to grab something a little bit wider for you a minute, guys. Right, there you go, guys. There you go. I've just put a hole through the middle of there. I just use my little Dremel like that just because it's a bit neater just whiz that around in there and it's flat on the other side so now we can just find out where our little hole is there find one of those little recesses where that chain came through and then pop that all the way around in there nice and tight look at that and now we've even got a looks quite funky in there the stainless steel and the chrome so that's that side done now with this side, what I've done is I had my Dremel handy. I wasn't sure whether it was going to work. So what I've done is I've just gone in there with the Dremel and I've just really quickly just buzzed off some of that paint and around there as well, just in case it did, it would arc things out. So now we've got to just basically put that one, got to find out that, that one's going to go, that one's going to go inside that side. But first of all, so we've got to hold it there and then stick that, sorry, and stick that one on there like that. But I'll put that one there and we've got to put that on there that way this time. So they fit together and the holes match up, see? And then the other cable can go in the other side there. So what I'll do is now that's in place, I can pop that in. All the way around you cut it just slightly slightly bigger I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put another little cut down in that side there as well with the old Dremel I won't take two seconds to do that so we get that with a little sandstone on turn that off Take that rough bit off of there and now we've got another little another little recess there for that wire to go in just so it'll close a bit tidier that's all so now we just re replicate what we did on the other side you see if you cut these slightly bigger and then they'll just pop in there like that you can put a little blob of hot glue on them if you want to be extra safe what you got to see that little bit there though you see the way that that bit there is just poking up now that would have touched the other side so little little things like that you're gonna to have to get and either get rid of them cut them off oh that bit fell off it was just on the outside and uh, make sure that nothing's contacting the other side as well okay I think that's tight enough in there I don't think that's gonna go uh, that that's gonna go off at all And there's a little piece there, which I'm just going to buzz off as well. A little bit of plastic there, you see. I don't want that to touch, so you want them completely separated. So I'll just buzz that off with the old Dremel as well. That's him done. That's him done, and now that little that little uh, nipple there on the ends come off. So now we're not going to touch anything. So now what we got to do?
is find our little corresponding holes. Like that. Just push that together. And now we've got some funky little and the wires are going through there like that, you see? Now all we gotta do now is find an old sucker somewhere around here. I'm bound to have one kicking around somewhere. In my little boxes of bits. There you go. There's an old sucker there, look. An old one that had snapped off. That was an old um, one for holding a heater, which is going to be perfect for that. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hot glue gun that on there. And I'm going to put some hot glue just on these wires here as well. So that's going to seal them up a bit. And then we'll put that sucker on there and we'll keep the cables to the back. So we'll get a nice blob of glue. Always wipe the end of the glue gun off first guys as well because there's always going to be a little bit which is sort of semi gone off on there. So if you just wipe that off on a piece of wood or something. And we'll put a big jollop on there. And then we'll get our Our little holder, making sure that's all nice and and level, and then we'll let that cool down for a minute. Okay. All right, guys. There we go. We're all together. We now have, if you're into your cars, <laughs> just um, you've got a funky little uh, little tank steriliser there, and that's all you need is an old phone charger like that. Or a six volt battery, direct current is better for these rather than AC. And um, we're going to plug, what I'm going to do now is I've got my little, my little jug of water there next to the mini pond. And uh, we'll whack it in there now. Getting our cables out of the way. Just dry my hands off for a sec. And then we'll press play and see what happens. Alright guys, we're all set up, we're all in the tank. Let's plug it in and see what happens. And there you go, look at that. We've got a tiny handmade in the shed build little steriliser which is working like a little champ look at that now basically what that's doing chemistry wise it's basically turning the water into oxygen and hydrogen that's how it works the electrolysis and um, the top dish the top um, little dish there is going to be creating uh, hydrogen and the bottom one will be creating the bottom mesh will be creating the oxygen and that will sterilise your water. Apparently it gets rid of pathogens, fungal spores, algae, clarifies water. It does all these sorts of things. All these claims people say um, that these things do. And um, if they work, I haven't got a clue. I've never used one before. It's the first time I've ever built one. But when I saw that, I thought I'm going to give it a go. And it looks very simple to do. And... Um, and it works well, it's working working brilliantly actually. Hey, okay guys, what I've done is I've made another one now, I've made two, so I had the other one with the wheel, and um, I've done this one with PVC pipe. Exactly the same, cut a recess on the inside of there with my Dremel, just buzzed it around on the inside there, just took a little couple of mil off on the inside, on both sides, recessed that mesh in, 
and then just run the hot glue gun around gluing the wire on each side okay plug that one in and you can see that one working as well and there it goes and don't forget your TDS is very important if you've got low TDS you're not gonna it's not gonna work very well your TDS is so I'd say around 200 above you're gonna get better results with these uh, with the oxygenation and the hydrogen and the oxygen being produced okay anyway guys you're all stars I love you all if you like my little videos hit that subscribe button and tap on that notification bell for up and coming videos I'll have part two of the um, that little diving bottle build coming up shortly as well and then um, we'll do some more stuff in the shrimp room as well all right then guys love you all your stars be safe look after yourselves and I'll see you on the next edition of Marcus Aquatics bye for now Just me and my guitar